Okey, kita kembali kepada Zain Ibrahim Podcast bahagian ketiga dengan uh, Syed Sadiq dari Yang Berhormat Muah. You can win again, Muah? InsyaAllah. Hmm. Lama lagi nak pilih raya. Sekarang fokus berkhidmat dulu. That's one thing I want to ask you. How do you raise money? I know crowdfunding and yeah. all that lah. I tried to do that, you know. Mm. But I failed miserably. Maybe yeah. because I'm not so young and so good looking like you. But I just don't know how to raise money. So, I, I mean, I, I do things as transparently as I can. Mm. And I dare to think out of the box. I always try to innovate. Contoh, pada musim COVID, apabila peruntukan kena tarik, dan saya kena cari jalan untuk bantu orang kawasan saya. I did botak challenge. Botak uh, challenge. Botak challenge. For one week, I said if uh, the donation reached 200,000 ringgit, which every single cent will be dedicated to buy tablets and laptops for the underprivileged students, then I'll go bolt on live television. We doubled it. We got more than 400,000. Lepas itu, saya memang suka mengajar. I come from family of teachers. I used to teach the Benin public speaking. Saya so buat kelas atas talian melalui Zoom, five sessions, two hours each, hanya RM200 saja for five sessions. That's 10 hours. And I think my debate credentials speak for itself lah, to get students in. More than 1,000 registered. Online, I mean, uh, so you, you can't you can't fudge this up. So that's more than two hundred thousand. I did two or three of those sessions, and then me and my mum masak lasagna, masak syashuka, jual, buat baju, jual, jual kurta. I went on TikTok live, sir. TikTok live, masa raya jual. We made more than hundred thousand. <laughs> so that's it's cool. finding ways which is out of the box, lah. Cuma, does that mean that can replace political funding? Tak boleh. Okay. Ini untuk saya. Bayangkan kalau saya ada seratus MP. Yeah. Not easy Bukan semua orang boleh buat perkara tersebut That's why We need our political funding act <laughs> Kalau tak Malah masalah sama ke berulang I, On politics I just want to ask you I, uh, You are president of MUDA Founder The face of MUDA And then you resign When you were charged Yeah. You don't have to I mean I wouldn't have resigned Because my, 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 I know that sometimes in this country actions are taken on political ground. Yeah. So principles are great, you know, and we should honor them, you know. But in certain situations, you have to dispense with it for a greater good. Understood. In the sense that your party, I, I'm not saying mm. the others are not capable, but don't you think your party will be better off if you are the head? Despite the charge, to be very honest, sir, um, if the party is reliant on me, my political identity and my seat, then not only has the party failed, but I failed as the founder and the president of the party. Mm. Because any party which is only built around one personality is bound to fail. Um, so that's one. Two is, while I know Malaysian political system is very different than <laughs> you know. Western liberal democracies, which have very strong checks and balances, strong institutions, governance and practices. However, as an idealist and an optimist, I need to put myself uh, to a higher standard. Is that politically good or realistic? Or is that just naivety on my side? Might be. But I'm young. I have a long way to go. And uh, if I'm destined that this will end my career, okay. I mean, Malaysian politics... And Malaysia overall is much larger than any personalities. So yeah, my but, my but, wish is, it's okay, what's done is done. Uh, I still have room to clear my name in the court of law and I intend to do that. And until then, yeah. I think Muda should grow while I'll be a loyal member. Ahli biasa. It's okay. I'll be a member. So you want to be Prime Minister lah one day? Oh, itu bahaya tu. Terus kata <laughs> Prime Minister. Nah, Each, because Khairi wants to be Prime Minister. <laughs> so and, and, and to be I honest, do. I think he deserves, uh, he deserves it. Oh, um, you like him? Yeah, is he someone who, who I respect? I mean, if you follow a little bit of my uh, history, it was his program through Padana Fellowship which opened up the doors of opportunities for me into politics. Because okay. I don't come from a political family. Mm. Itu program yang meletakkan intern je, intern kepada menteri. Okay. And uh, that opened up many doors of opportunities. But above and beyond that, I think he's also pragmatic. Is a I'm too idealistic. <laughs> I think he's I think so. somewhere in the middle. <laughs> it's okay, but <laughs> but hey, never mind. That's... If if I lose my idealism when I'm young. That's worrying. No, you, I'm not asking you, you to. You are you are idealistic as well. No, no. Yeah, I'm <laughs> asking you to abandon idealism. I'm saying you have to be selective. Uh, okay, fair enough. Because the world of politics is brutal. Yeah, yeah. 
you know, it's brutal. It's like going to war. <laughs> See, when you're in a state of, when you're in warfare, there are certain things you do, certain things you don't do. Yeah, it's a bit like that. That's what I meant. That's fair. But sir, what what has been done upon me, I'll never ever wish or dream to be done, exactly. even to the worst of my enemies. So there are lines which should be drawn, and that line shouldn't be guided by me, or even drawn by me. It should be drawn by institutions which will check on me and my opponents. So that's the dream and I hope we'll get there soon. So uh, to answer your question, no, I'm not ready, nor do I harbour aspiration and ambition. I oh, think sure. I want to be part of a team. No, no, no. no, no, no. Malaysia must... Modest. No, Mal- the problem with Malaysian <laughs> leaders. They don't say what they mean. Sir, I, I really I'm not, mean what I'm I say. I'm not disputing <laughs> your, your, you know, but I'm just saying generally, uh, orang Melayu ni kalau kita ajak makan, dia kata, tak payahlah, saya dah makan dah. Sebenarnya dia, dia dah, you know. But never mind. That is, mm. I think if I were your age and have all the resources that you have and exposure, I would want to be prime minister. Mm. That must be the ambition that you must have, and there's no need to malu. Mm. You know, you know it, it, it is. Um, what this is what Abraham Lincoln said something mm. like that. You know, when he lost so many times mm. in the Senate, I think he lost about ten times. Mm. And people just make fun of him at yeah. the time, you know, from from the south, you know? yeah. from the south, and yet wanted a rural America. You know, <laughs> it's kind of a, so he said that you know, he would one day be president. Yeah, no, yeah, that's that's fair. But yeah, for me, so, at so this age, Abraham family. Lincoln can say it, you can say it. <laughs> okay, the last <laughs> point, the last point of our discussion today is yeah. on the issue of uh, you see a parliamentary democracy or system that we have. Work, not just checks and balance, but check, but with also an opposition that is strong, effective, able to bring up the views of the people. So the parliamentary must be, the parliamentary process must be dynamic. It must be fruitful discussion. Mm. There's no point in showing a live telecast. Kita punya apa TV TV telecast on on, on to the people shouting matches. Mm. Bodoh sana, bodoh mm. sini, diam sana, diam sini. There's no value. Yeah. In fact, it makes us a mockery. Like, you know, orang kata apalah ada ahli mm. kita ni. So, I want to ask you about the opposition parties. Like. Yeah. Opposition meaning PAS, PSAT, mm. and whoever else. Yeah. Are they effective enough? I mean, to be very frank, uh, even when I was in government uh, as a backbencher, um, I follow their debates very closely. So, one thing which... I believe they are being undercredited for. Uh, they're often painted as MPs who only speak about race and religion, but never on substantive mm. policy issues. Mm. But I'm there in Parliament, and I attend every single day. My attendance is 100%. Actually, many of them do. I mean, there are those who debate in detail about how to develop the palm oil industry, how to deal with water treatment issues, education reforms, institutional reforms. Other saja. Cuma malangnya, Apabila ada satu ke dua dari mereka yang memulakan oh. perbahasan berkenaan isu yang sangat sensitif, toxic, divisive, Baju ketat. itulah yang akan keluar front page dekat semua akhbar. So, I think on that part, they have a, a media issue which they need to deal with. However, however, <laughs> adakah ia bermaksud bahawa tidak ada ruang untuk tambah baik? Ruang tu sangat luas sekali. Kerana saya perlu setuju juga sepatutnya bila belanjawan dibentang oleh Yang Mak Berhormat Perdana Menteri adalah percubaan untuk bentangkan belanja alternatif. Kalau tak nak pun, kongsikan ideas-ideas positif. Hmm. Ya? So, tidak hanya mengkritik, tapi ini adalah cadangan kita. Mereka telah adakan contoh shadow cabinet. Tetapi kita perlu tanya soalan jujur. Hmm. Apa shadow cabinet telah lakukan to check on the other side? Tak ada. Tak ada. Hmm. So, pada masa yang sama, saya beri contoh. Ni, isu pension pada hari ini. Kerajaan umumkan akan masukkan pension bagi penjahat orang baru. Tak cukup hanya mengkritik. Apa cadangan kalau mereka berada dalam kerajaan? Hmm. Contoh, that's why I mentioned about KJ. I mean, you, I, I'm not sure of views, but for me, why do I like? He said, okay. No, no, I like it. Ah, okay. So, so I, I just wonder yeah. whether so, you know, because you want to be prime minister <laughs> and he wants to be prime minister, there has to be some clash. No, no, no he will definitely be there way ahead of me. Okay. Uh, and and I, yeah. So <laughs> that that's. But I give an example of what a good opposition. Like what KJ said, he said, okay, kalau betul terpaksa dilakukan. Tapi pertama perlu reform dulu tangga gaji penjawat orang sekarang. Kedua walk the talk. Packagekan sekali dengan gaji berkaitan dengan menteri, dengan ahli parlimen. Dan selepas itu kecualikan contohnya penjawat-penjawat awam yang bergaji rendah supaya mereka tetap boleh dapat. So there is a plan. Tapi pada hari ini 
bagi pembangkang keluar satu kenyataan diam yeah. I mean a, a substantive opposition is one which holds the government to accountable be the voice of the people and also the voice of conscience to contribute on policy making itu cara dengan saya who's the leader of the opposition uh, I'm not talking about paper paper appointment yeah. a paper is of course Hamzah Zanuddin kita Betul. tahu lah yeah? but who's the real leader I mean now is uh, I think PAS will be Datuk Sri Shamsuri Bersatu PAS will be, be Datuk Shamsuri yeah. is that confirmed or is it just newspaper I mean you're asking about what's not on paper right so I'm just <laughs> <laughs> kind of uh, Takyuddin and uh, Datuk Shamsuri are very much involved in policy debates uh, which I quite appreciate I think from Bersatu will be Tan Sri Muddin and Datuk Sri Hamza uh, gerakan sadly not in parliament but hopefully there will be uh, more multiracial diversity in the opposition bloc Um, tapi sir, saya rasa kita perlu keluar daripada kelompong di mana kita hanya melihat satu figura saja. Ideally, what opposition should do is to showcase 20 competent leaders, young and old, diverse backgrounds, yeah, yeah. women, men, people from different races, including a Borneo representation, to take you. over. I agree with you. That should be. I, because kalau orang kata uh, kajian tak guna lah, kajian menyebabkan itu dan ini, orang akan tanya, so what's the alternative? Betul. Betul. So itu harapan saya lah. Uh, saya di dalam blok pembangkang, <laughs> walaupun sebagai apa ahli parlimen tunggal muda, um, I do look forward. Parlimen akan bermula pada akhir bulan ini untuk membawa isu-isu dasar, penambahbaikan, kritikan yang membina dan untuk mencadangkan alternatif uh, kepada dasar-dasar kerajaan yang sedia ada. Okay, so opposition ada, jumlah pun ramai juga, about hmm. 80 or so. Hmm. Kan, kalau tak 70, 70. Oh, dah, Sebab dah, banyak dah, dah lompat tumpang dah. dah. Banyak, oh. banyak lompat. Ini sekarang dah 60 tambah. Yeah, 69. Okay. Yeah. Ha. So banyak yang ke sana, saya seorang yang ke pembangkang. Tapi, so this this exodus to the Anwar Ibrahim ni akan bertambah? Uh, saya tak tahu kerana saya bukan daripada Perikatan Nasional. Tapi, tetapi uh, ura-ura tu sentiasa ada. Hmm. Tetapi sejujurnya nasihat saya kepada kawan-kawan Uh, di backbenchers pembangkang ni jangan hanya mengkhianati uh, mandat rakyat kerana hmm. isu wang, peruntukan, jawatan itu takkan kekal lama di sini kita boleh belajar daripada apa yang berlaku sebelum ini 2018, you see many MPs moving sides kan? tetapi rakyat ber, uh, beralih ke pihak yang sebelah sana hmm. terbalik, we lost multiple by elections kerana rakyat memati, hmm. rakyat tak Rakyat ni bukan kisah ada 100 MP ke 120 MP ke hmm. Tapi dia mereka melihat track record Prestasi Prinsip Adakah kamu tunaikan janji Sebelum ini So itu nasihat saya lah Kecuali kalau mereka memang dah <coughs> Gadaikan segala prinsip Now Dari segi uh, Sabah Sarawak ni Saya melihat Especially Sarawak lah They have a lot of power Yes Yeah, yeah the kingmakers Effectively yeah. the kingmakers they, they, are, they are because of their 20 seats. I mm. don't know how many seats they have. Mm. 23 seats. They seolah-olah can do the whatever they want. Mm. Seolah-olah lah. Yeah? But why is this block that's from the Malay state, Kelantan, mm. Kanu, Kedah, you know, there's a big block too. Yeah. Why can't they get something for their votes? Mm. I mean, I suggested, some people say I was joking, mm. but I suggest that I do. I cut the. Why not everybody join Anwar Ibrahim? <laughs> yeah, I read about it. You read about I it. I read about it. This was just two days ago. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. So I said, when everybody join Anwar Ibrahim, then he's a human being. He will be. We have. To, it's like you marry four, lah. You have to be fair, lah. Can. <laughs> so he will be fair. Then you will get your proto card. Everybody will get their the development fund. Kelantan, Terengganu, Malay states will get some. You know, infrastructure project, couple. Why can't we do that? Why can't we have everybody support Anwar Ibrahim now? Kerana itu politik lama, sir. Kalau kita hanya memberikan peruntukan dan bantuan kepada negeri berdasarkan kepada sokongan politik, then we don't deserve to govern this country. Kerana realitinya, kita tak boleh hanya memberikan bantuan yeah, but berdasarkan kepada sokongan that, politik. Yeah, but that's mm. the idea. Lah. Yeah, that's yeah. the idea. I'm yeah. just trying to solve the problem. Huh? But there will be no opposition, sir. Yeah. Ada saya seorang lah. Mungkin saya no, seorang no. kat dalam parlimen no, pembangkang. No. If if everybody joins Anwar Ibrahim, then the opposition will come automatically from within. You see, a Chinese... Ini macam Terengganu sekarang lah. Yeah. Because you see, like in China, you know, the Communist Party, it's only one party. 
There's only one party. Yeah. But there's a contest to get into the central committee, to the yeah. state committee, to be chairman of this. It's a contest. It's a different form of democracy. It's not Westminster, but mm. it's a democracy. There's a fight. There's a contest. There's an election. So Malaysia, pada saya lah, pada saya, Malaysia has failed to follow Westminster. Mm. Has failed because of Malaysia punya structure, feudal system, because of history, ethnic issues, policy, whatever reason you have. Mm. So I'm suggesting that all the opposition try lah before the next election. Everybody supports Anwar Ibrahim. And then we see what he give. Mm. And then before the election, you fight him again. This is what happened in, <laughs> in Vietnam. Vietnam is a single party too. Mm. But the contest for support is all the same. Yeah. So I hope you also will join Anwar Ibrahim. What I can give my commitment is, my commitment is not to take down Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim before next election, but is to allow for continuity but to be a good opposition a check and balance the voice of conscience for the people so that when there are mistakes it will be pointed out it will be corrected when there are better policies which could be forwarded I can forward it in the spirit of the opposition to hold the government to account and then we fight it out in next election itulah cara yang terbaik biarlah kita berhentap 4 tahun daripada sekarang tetapi pada masa ini perlu ada pembangkang yang berwibawa yang boleh suarakan isu-isu rakyat dan untuk memastikan bahawa salah laku kerajaan dapat diperbetulkan. Okay, my last question lah. Eh? Because uh, what happens to UMNO? I think you know better. So. I don't know. <laughs> you know better. Ni, I am an UMNO member but I don't tak ada kawan. Hmm. Ya, yeah, kawan saya pun dah tua-tua. So. <laughs> what is going to happen? Are they going to be like opposition to the hmm. Pakatan Harapan or are they going to be part of Pakatan Harapan next election, you think? To be honest, sir, I have no idea. You have no idea. And um, why should they do? <laughs> Amno is a completely different party, so I, I mean, it's beyond me. Yeah, it's patronage. I know, I know, because I I know why you are so reluctant because <laughs> uh, Hassan Kare, my friend from Johor, dia kata Amno ni buat lah tukar lah pemimpin biar biar kekuatan don't follow the cocktails apa kata apa. Dia kena belasah <laughs> oleh uh, Fuad Zakashi. Yeah, you know, Zakashi kata, look yourself in the mirror. Mm. Uh, so I, I can understand yep. why you don't want to. Yep. No, at, at, at the same time, at the same time, <laughs> uh, I think there are a lot of things which Muda should do first. So instead of looking at others, I have to look at myself uh, and the party in which I'm no longer the president, but a member. Okay. Mm. Anyway, so thank you very much for having a chat with me. Thank you, uh, sir, for having me. I hope kita boleh bincang lagi next time. InsyaAllah. Uh, kalau at the plua yeah. so thank, thank you. you very much yeah. thank you very much sir looking forward to more of your tweets.